This episode is brought to you by Kimball's Cookies. Custom cookies for every occasion. And by Matthew's Arcade. Custom-built arcade games. And Kinesi Shoes. Feed the flame. All right, so now we have Mark Medow, the inaugural IBF 154-pound world champion. He fought Tommy Hearns. Yeah, wow. Um, had a great, great career. And he is Jersey City's only world champion. Our tour body is not from Jersey City. He's from Canada. So I don't oh, care what wow. he said. Hey, Mark, where? You good. Where? Where in Jersey City? Where you live in Jersey City? I live downtown Jersey City. Almost he has a beautiful house. Life. That's nice. I used beautiful to walk house. in Jersey City Grove Street. Bro, I'm Grove Street, but I'm on, I'm on Fifth and Grove. I was walking over there for a guy for a French real estate. I was doing his renovation. It's a good place. It's a good place. I, uh, yeah, I think I think I met you. You oh. sure I was walking by with my, with my dog. Oh yeah, you met Salim. You met Mark. My birthday party. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 And then. How um, you doing, Mark? So good. Mark, How you Salim? doing, baby? Good. Salim fought for the WBO 154-pound world title. Salim, yeah. where did you fight for that title? Czechoslovakia? Uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. With did... the guy who fought Peter Quillen. Oh, yeah, the guy who beat, lost to Peter Quillen. But... Yeah, he did a pretty close fight oh. with Peter Quillen. Yeah, good fight. But So mm. Salim lost his one chance at a world title. I got yeah. Salim fighting probably in Florida in June and then September in California. And we're just nice. waiting for a big one. I put his name in with a bunch of people. Hopefully, uh, yeah, someone yeah. gives him a chance. And yeah. you know, Salim has a little bit left in the tank. He could upset somebody. So, Mark, what do you yeah. do with your days right now? Just hanging out with my, with my family. Most of all, my granddaughter. Uh, nice. You know, the, 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 my family. Family. My family is my life. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, my, my mother had three strokes at ninety years old and still alive. God, God is great. Uh, you know, and, and just just living a normal, normal, natural life, enjoying pretty myself. Soon. We'll be out of this pretty soon, Celine. And, and Celine, on my birthday, yeah. I like to go to dinner with Mark and Joey Gamash, and I didn't get to for a whole eighteen months. So wow. the first, the first place I go, Celine, you come with me. We have yes. dinner with Mark and Joey Gamash. I don't care where, but um, <laughs> That's my two favorite. Joey Gamash, Joey Gamash, a fool against his fighter Jack Kurke in Germany. Germany, wow. Yeah, and he remember me last time when I met uh, when I met him. He said, "Oh, I know you. Do you the French who fought Jacques Kay?" <laughs> he told he told me you, you did a very good fight. Yeah, I remember this fight. So, Salim, guess what? So one time, Tommy Hearns was on the Arsenio Hall show, and Arsenio asked him who hit him the hardest in all his fights. Guess who he said? He said Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and all those fights. Now he got. Hearns got punched in the head by Hagler, by Leonard, and he remember getting hit by Mark Medow. But you drop him or no? Because he, can, he cannot take a punch, right? <laughs> Who, Hearns? Yes. He can take a punch. He, I mean, he can't take a nah, punch. No, nah, he couldn't take a punch. I just didn't hit him. I just, you know, I, I didn't get him on the chin. I, you know, and something had, you know, something, something had my hands tied all of a sudden. I couldn't move my hands, which is the craziest thing in the world, but. You know, you know, people are like 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 Thomas Hearns that cannot take a punch. He's like Tito yeah, Trinidad, yeah, yeah. you know. There are yeah, no chin. There are no know, chin. I, I I I know you. I knew, you know, going into the fight that I was gonna knock him out, but suddenly, you know, the, the those two spiritual you ladies, could. I just took took the, took the anger out of me. <laughs> yeah, but you you yeah, you, you yeah. moved up in weight. You hadn't fought in over a year, and when you asked him for a match, you wanted to be part of it. Was, but I mean, you know. Uh, well, time was a different era. I, I begged them. I, yeah, but I begged them. For, I begged them for a rematch. I didn't ask them. I said, "Tommy, I'm not asking you for a rematch. I'm begging you for a rematch." He said, "Why?" Well, because I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> exactly. Yo, but, this era was different, man. Thomas Hans today yeah. beat everybody. Trust me. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and then more. So everybody. You was that was that your only fight? It was that at 160 or is that 154? 154, but he weighed like 164 pounds, 165 pounds. That was right before he weighed 154 pounds. Yeah, yeah. You know, 
you know, I'm telling you, I, I know that I could have knocked him out. I just, you know, I had spotted with him two years prior to that. And, you know, uh, yeah. in the Catskills, I spotted with him in the Catskills and knocked him down. And, you know, yeah. I knew well, as soon as I won the title, I asked him to fight. He said, no, wow. uh, him and Amanda Stewart both said no, and we the, the, you know, the, that I had to they, they had take a, a layoff and this, this, and that. They wanted to prepare with a few fighters, you know. I said, okay, well, I work for you guys. And as soon as, like I said, I, you know, as soon as I, you know, my man told me it was fight time, I said, let's, let's, get, let's get her in. You know, said, he wants no part of you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me ask you, Mark, you tell me the story about Duran, about how he used to train. So Mark would be in training camp with Duran. Tell me, you remember any of the stories you told me about how some of the things yeah, Duran was doing? Yeah. Not even you. Incredible, incredible guy. You know, every morning he would wake me up and we would run down, down this, down to the lake and swim across the lake and, and, and just get up on, get up back on, get back up on land and go walk, run all the way back around to where we, where we jumped in the lake to. It was incredible. His conditioning was outrageous. You know? Yeah. And he used to fill up to two, two water, two gigantic water bottles. He used to go in the water and just hold on to, hold on to those bottles so they were full and could then, then come up. And that's, I'm telling you, he told me so much about conditioning that you know, I, I took a few of his methods and, and thank God they helped me incredibly. Incredible. Yes, the, the, that was Duran, a fantastic Duran, fighter. Duran was one of the greatest fighters I, ever in the world, and I, I, I admire the guy. I'm going to admire him forever because he was just incredible. Incredible. Now, you, you fought yeah. at Madison Square Garden at least 10 times, right? Yeah. Uh, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think 20. I think 20 times. You fought at Madison Square Garden what 20 times. Yeah. Wow. And you know, I, was, well, I, 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 I held the record. I held the record there for knockouts. Yeah, How many knockouts did you get started? Leave him alone. 18, <laughs> 18, 18 straight knockouts. And I held, that record for, yeah, I held that record for about 27 years, 27 years before they broke the record. Yeah, I did. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah who broke the record? Manager, manager. I, 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 really don't, I, 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 think, I think it was... Uh, no. What was his name? Uh, the the welterweight, uh, not Bobby Joe Young. I, somebody actually fought there more than you to break the record. Yeah, yeah. What after, after, after me? Because uh, nobody yeah. really does that nowadays. There's no house fighter anywhere, really. I mean, they they move yeah, around. Yeah, they, yeah, that's true. But 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 it, it happened just before that 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 old that old way went out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, when did you? Buddy when, McGregor. Buddy, Buddy McGregor. Oh, Buddy, Buddy McGregor. McGregor. Yeah. Yep, he yeah. fought there a lot. Yeah. He fought there a lot. When wow. did you yeah. make your day your pro debut, Mark? What year? Uh, wow, I think it was 1982. And when was your last fight? Ninety one. So that's a short career for a guy with no amateur bouts, Salim. Uh, Mark had zero amateur bouts and he won a world title. Wow. Celine, how many amateur bouts did you have, Celine? 50. <laughs> That's okay. not, not many. Not many. No, not many. But, you know, now you see guys at 300. Though not anymore so much. Now guys have 20 amateur bouts and they turn pro and they learn on the job. And, you know, they're, 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 they're work some progress. Guys with world titles are works in progress. It's better to learn on the field, you know? Yeah, it's, better, it's different. I think. You know, so, you know, don't matter. Even an Olympian doesn't make a good professional. You know, you don't know. You don't know. Nah, it's a, it's a different world nowadays. It's a I mean, world. you got to be popular. But, Mark, I mean, it's amazing. They kept bringing you back to the garden. And you mm. had to be able to sell tickets. You were local. And where else did you fight? You didn't have many more fights tonight. You fought Tommy Hearns in Vegas. Where else did you fight? I fought Atlantic City three times. And that's it? At the Sands Hotel, yes. Yeah, that was it. So you had... 20 fights at the Garden, three in Atlantic City, and one in Vegas, and that's it. I had 20. And you, and you were world champion. After, after, after how many fights you been world champion? 20, 22. So your 22nd fight, you won a world title. 20, 22nd wow. or 23rd. 22nd or 23rd. One of the two. Can't remember exactly. One of the two. And then you were pretty much the main event in most of your fights, right, at the Garden? Yeah, most of, most of them, yeah, I was the main event. Most of them, you were the main event. And were you undefeated at the Garden? Uh, yeah, I was undefeated. And then I lost to uh, Kek, 
to Kevin Howard, but it wasn't at the gun. I lost Kevin Howard and not Kevin Howard to a yeah, 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 Kevin Howard. Uh, uh, damn, Kevin, uh, Kevin Perry. I lost to Kevin Perry in uh, in Elizabeth, New Jersey. He knocked me out. He knocked me down three times in the first round. And he stopped the fight. Uh, he, he was a banger, hell of a hell of a fighter, you know. And, um, and you know, where he, was that? Where that was it? Where in Elizabeth was it? The Dunn Recreation Center. The the, the Dunn Sports Center, yeah. Dunn, that was yeah. a big. That was is that still there? That was like a nice little arena for its time. I mean, it held probably eight thousand people at least. You yeah, know, when I when we fought, we fought at the high school. We fought, we fought at the high school. Yeah, that was the Dunn Recreation Center. Was part of the high school, but it was like oh, they used it for big events. I yeah. mean, they would have all kind of big events. It held at least eight thousand people. So, um, yeah. you know, it was big. Like, yeah, really, he just walked really. in his door. He got home. Was <laughs> <laughs> with the dog? Oh, you're walking the dog I'm with my dog. So now outside. we've had Paul Banky cooking, yeah, and we had uh, walking his dogs on the podcast. So, Mark, what do you do with your days? I mean, you're still working, right? Yeah, I work. You know, I'm working because I I I, I, I want to retire soon because. Uh, I'm working because I need time for 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 um, what do you call it? Social Security. Social Security. Oh, you got to get the years, yeah, and a pension yeah, probably, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got my pension. Thank God, you know, you know, we won my case. Thank God, and uh, you know, we just wait and see what something good comes from God. Yeah, exactly. Well, how about what's what's going on in Jersey City? You've been to the gyms in Jersey City since this all started. Yeah, they, 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 nobody's training really. Nobody, they, nobody's fighting because they, they're not, they're not gonna set up any fights anywhere, anywhere. But uh, yeah, but a lot of people, a lot of people just relaxing. Some guys go to, to the gym once a week, maybe you know. And uh, so I can see us. I can I can see them on different days, but um, it's very, everything is very very slow, and you know, this, this COVID is no joke. No, no joke at all. And let me ask you this. So a lot of gyms close down forever, and the reason they can't put fights on, people don't understand this, but if you think about it, some of the officials are older people, and they don't want to get COVID. So they couldn't do an amateur event in New Jersey. The biggest concern was they couldn't get any officials that would do the event because they're in their 60s and 70s, and they don't want to risk getting COVID to be the referee in a boxing match, which I can't blame them. So it's not worth risking your life over, and they get 50 bucks for the whole day. The amateur officials. You're not going to risk your life over 50 bucks to be around a bunch of people without masks. No, there's not enough money in the world for that. So I understand the logic. They were going to have an event in end of April in Atlantic City, but they had to push it back for the same reasons. They couldn't get people to. uh, They couldn't get officials. I think they had people that the COVID test they would test positive. The car would have fallen apart. But I really can't wait till something happens. It doesn't look like there's going to be any more boxing at Barclays Center. So the Garden should be able to take over again. You know what it should be. But there's nothing on the horizon. There's nothing even close to being scheduled in this area. It's a shame. How about the guy with the gym with like mosquito and stuff? Is that still running? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not absolutely sure. But let the, I, I went there about about a month ago, and then they were still up. They were still going up there. Once. But you know, no, uh, he was getting maybe four or five people there uh, uh, a day. You know, and uh, he's only open three days, three days a week. That's a city a run gym. Isn't that a city run a city run gym? Yeah, so that's why they closed it down. Yeah, the city ones were the first to close be- just because yeah. they don't want to risk getting the uh, you know in trouble. Salim goes exactly. to Church Street in Manhattan. You ever go to Church Street, Mark? You ever been to Church Street? No, yeah, I went to one church once, church one time, and um, that's why I just uh, that's why I met Mr. Gamesh. That's why I met oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so there's some yeah. times. Yeah. What we're gonna do yeah. is this then. So I I went to the gym over there. When was it, Salim? About Two months ago, when I challenged Celine, we went two rounds. So here's the thing. We did three, maybe. I was not ready, and I'm I'm in a little bit better shape, but I'm gonna be way more aggressive next time, Mark. I, okay. I, I got my first, my first shot on Friday, and so I'll be fully vaccinated June 19th. On Mark, on June 20th, we're going to Church Street, and I'm gonna be very aggressive with Celine. <laughs> you better watch out. I'm serious you better, because I'm going to be no, way more aggressive. No, because no, no, you better watch out because Celine get one of those flashbacks and knock you out quick. No, nah, well, Celine, <laughs> Celine wasn't afraid to hit me to the body, and, yeah. and I was careful. But, yeah, Celine's tough. But I'm, I have a, two little tricks. I remember what I, I picked up two things from him I'm going to try. 
Uh, yeah. It ain't gonna work, but I'm gonna try them. And then you know, <laughs> Salim, Salim is you know he goes he goes nice and easy for me just because you know it's not gonna get anything knocking me out. But June twentieth, yeah. Salim, June nineteenth, I'm fully vaccinated. June twentieth, I'll be at the gym. Mark, why don't you come around there and we'll we'll have Joey come around and afterwards we'll go eat. If Salim's not mad at me, because I'm gonna try to get rid of him, and like, uh, you know, I got two things. He throws some big hook. I I know what I'm gonna catch you with. I one thing you 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 tried a lot. I'm gonna I not, I worked on a counter, and I'm I'm gonna hit you with a straight right. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I don't want you to prepare for it. But I was watching a lot of film, and I see one thing you do. <laughs> you're gonna get hit with a straight, like a right hand, no jab, no nothing. It's like a, a pure counter punch. And be yeah. ready to eat it. I'll work on this because I know I'm too square. <laughs> I'm not square anymore. Uh, we'll see. Mark will be the judge of it. So, Mark, you come over there. We'll get Joey to come over there. Oh, look, Paul Banky woke up. Uh, he can't get on, though. Let's see. So, but um, no, so that's the thing. June 20th, we'll go live with it. And then, Mark, so what do you think? Is June 20th a good day, Mark? You come over there? That's a good day because June 10th, June 10th is my birthday. So, perfect. And why Six. So Salim, uh, I will. We'll go. Uh, you go easy. I'm gonna try to knock you out. I'm yeah, gonna try, try my tricks, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then afterwards we bury the hatchet, no matter what. And then we go to go to eat. What's over there? We so we'll, we'll get to Joe Gamash, Paul Banky. So Paul Banky, we have. Oh, Paul Banky. What's Mark up, Paulie? How you doing, Paulie? How you doing, Paulie? Easy, sir. What's up? <laughs> so you are so. Believe it or not, Paul Banky, Darnell's even later than you. I can't believe it. Where's Darnell at? I don't know. He told me he was on his way home. I don't know how far he lives from the gym, but uh, I hope he hurries the hell up. So let's see what happened here. So, Mark, also we got Salim. Salim will be fighting. Uh, he's going to be fighting in Florida and then California. But I'm going to yeah. try to – once the things open up here, he'll be fighting locally. And then also, too, you got to take a look. Mark, do you ever – you train anybody? No, but I was – I would like to look. I would like to look at Celine. I would like to look at him. Yeah, you, Celine. Mark's gonna come over there and look at you, and then he'll maybe he'll come over there a couple days a week or something, or one day a week, whatever it is, and you get some work from a former world champion. What no do you think? No problem. Yes, I would be happy. I would be so happy. And Mark, yeah. Mark learned. He 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 had some of the legends in his corner. Mark, tell 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 Celine and Paul some of the guys that were working your corner. Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Amy, Amy, Amy was one of the greatest. You know, six-time world champion. Guy he was, was a Hall of just, Famer, right? He, he you know, was incredible. Literally, incredible. I don't care what. He's the forgotten guy. What's happening is, as people yeah. get older, they're not mentioning the old, old greats of the game. Nobody mentions Archie Moore, Joe Lewis. They're forgotten. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so how'd you get? How'd you get me? How'd you get a? Who'd you get? He got. He got Archie Moore working with him. No, no, I worked, I worked with Emil Griffith, Bernard Forbes, Jimmy Glenn. Oh, man, uh, Griffith, yeah. John, 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 um, John, Johnny, Johnny Pearson, Pearsall. Yeah. Who was yeah. Light, light, heavy, who's light heavyweight champion. I, I how, how, long, how, how long did Emil Griffith work with you? How long, how many fights did he work with you? All, all, my, all, all the ten, the all ten years that I fought he, he every day. From, from, oh, is that right? Right on, man. Did you know the story uh, how uh, how Mark became a fighter? Uh, well, Mark, tell us, tell tell Paul the story how he was a football player in high school. He was a great athlete and a uh, tough guy. But tell the story. Someone, so someone picked on the uh, someone picked on the wrong guy. Tell Mark. Tell the story. How you no, no, no. My friend, my friend went to spa with with, with Marciano Bernardi, who was getting ready to fight. Marvin Hagler. My friend oh. went, you know, went to spa with him and Marciano Bernardi beat the daylight out of my friend. You know, I kept yelling at my friend, yelling at my friend. And finally the guy goes, he says, hey, he says, hey, chin up already. I said, I'm just trying to help, you know, help my friend out. He says, he says, you think you can do better? I said, yeah, I can do better. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't going to spar, but I, but I got in the ring with the guy. And, you know, he banged me up. You know, hmm. We did four rounds. He banged me up, you know, because I had yeah. to uh, I had either a cheeseburger, a hamburger, a milkshake, <laughs> and a soda on the way to the gym because I, I wasn't going to box, you know what I'm saying? I was there to watch him, you know, but I went back the next day and knocked my shadow out in the first round. Wow. Yeah. You know? So you stopped late. That's, that's, right? that's how Emil and Bernard Forbes and Jimmy Glenn saw me. And they, they, they came, oh, they, we, we were, were going to be your trainers, we're going to be your trainers. 
So I knew I knew Wayne McGriff it was, but I didn't know Jimmy Glenn or or or, or you know the other guys. But you know they became my trainers, and that's how it all started. It was cool. And yeah, he, had, he cool. had basically an all-star crew his whole career. He went to the gym one day to just watch his friend fight, like spar with a guy who was gonna fight for a world title. Didn't like the way it went. Challenged the guy, and the you know. And then you went back to second. You pretty much beat him up. Next thing you know, you got you got Hall of Famers working your were working in your corner. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, you're a world champ. That's a movie. That could be a movie. You can do nobody a movie. Will, nobody. And look, we got a black guy made me sparring. <laughs> <laughs> you no, a black I, guy? I got I got poked in the eye by a, by a, a guy. Uh, he was drunk and everything. You know, you know, nothing, nothing happened. He just he just got poked in the eye. Yeah. I thought you got a black guy that should do some boxes. Damn, boy, you bad boy still. Damn, <laughs> damn. Yeah, no, but I know like, I would uh, I wouldn't do that, you know. You know it it would have been uh, abuse. You know, cuz the guy was drunk. Yeah. He, he he didn't know what he was doing. He, he was reaching for a bottle of a, a bottle of, a bottle of Budweiser that I had in my hand, you know. Oh. And, you know, he, he kept he kept turning his face as he kept reaching for the bottle. Okay. That's, that's how it poked me. Yeah. That's how it poked me. Okay, I'll call you right back. Let me finish the podcast. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, John? Huh? That's his wife. His wife beating him up. Nah, that's <laughs> someone that called me by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> they kept calling. It, they kept calling me by mistake ten times. So I'm like, all right. Hey, big, I'm hey, what, what's, his, what, what's his name again? Oh, the guy, um, Celine, right? Celine. His Celine, name is yeah. Yeah. Paul Bank. How, how, how? How old are you, Celine? 34. 34? Okay. How many fights do you have? Uh, 34. <laughs> you have 34 fights? Yeah. No fights, 30? yeah. yeah. All right. I'm, how I'm many, from how many Europe. I'm from France. That's why. I'm 21 from, okay. wins. Yeah. You remember, do you remember Gianfranco Rossi? No, I don't know him. You know, well, I, well, I, well, I banged him up. I banged him <laughs> up. I like to run the fifth round in, in, in Italy. Yeah. Uh, Mark, Mark, uh, sleep, sleep yeah. punch. You got, you got one of those, you got one of those right hand punch, man, in the stomach. Thank Crack you. anybody yeah. down, man. I worked this corner in one of his last fights, matter of fact. This guy can bang. You know, he got a layoff. He came back for a layoff for a little bit. Layoff. This guy can crack. Almost. Who is that? Has, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good, man. Salim. You know, man, you know, you. Every you know, I'm not the greatest trainer in the world, but I, but I train with the greatest people in the world, man, and I learned a lot. I, I know, I know now, and I, and I would love to help you, man, because you know, because I, I train, I, I, I train, I train this kid from Italy, from Ireland, named Stephen Quinn. He became yeah. the, the 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 super lightweight champ of the world in 16 fights. He never knocked nobody out. I, tra I trained him for his championship fight in in, wow. in the in the Meadowlands. I trained him for four and a half weeks. He knocked the guy out in the sixth round. He became the first world champ of the, of the WBO. So come, come and, at church when you have a chance. <laughs> He'll come, yeah. And, uh, you mark over there. You know, I would definitely, so, definitely, definitely listen, come. Listen, oh, uh, uh, John, I'm gonna have in my corner. Mark and Paul Benke, that's great, no? Two world champions in your corner, you better hey, win. Hey, hey. Slim, you mad Slim, are, so are you working still? Are you still work construction, you work your job? Yeah, yeah, still, still. And you still boxing too at the same time, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, at the same time. Just now, I take a little break, because the coach told us to take a break, because we fasting, you know? It's the finishing of the fasting month, so Ramadan. So. Well, I mean, you know, bro, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, man. It's hard these days. A lot of boxers do what you're doing: training, take care of the family, and and, yeah. and boxing, take boxing, training, and working. Come on, bro, it's hard thing it's, to do. You know what I'm saying? Even, it's even better because it keep you in shape. It keep you hungry. You know, it's better. You don't get out of shape. You always That's on true. weight. You know, I'm no, always man. on weight. Me, no problem. I do 154 next week. No problem. Mark, when you when you were when you were at your peak, were you did you have a day job? No, right. No, I I, I I stopped working when I had my, my first eight rounder. I had my first eight rounder. I was a housing inspector for Jersey City, and um and, and I quit good. after my my first eight rounder. 
Then you got then that's the way. And then how about Paul? Did you ever work when you were a pro? You were a, a elite amateur. Now you never worked mm -hmm. as a, when you were a pro, right? Okay, I got you know I got I was blessed, man, because I was on an eighty four. I was on an eighty four Olympic team. I was on a squad of the Olympic team. You know, and we got Van Holyfield, Tillman, um, Tyson. So I got when I went pro, I had a good amateur record. So I got some people took care. Of. I was very blessed. I got to take care of. Like I was telling Salim, it must have been hard because I, I it was hard. I thank God I had people taking care of me all the time, cream. You know what I'm saying? But well, think, I do this, working. yo. I do this since I'm 15 years old, so there's no problem for me. It's second nature for you. Second yeah, nature. I need it. I need it. If I don't have it, my you know my body is is very slow. You know what I'm saying? You, know? you get sluggish if you're not busy. Yeah, you get bored. Yes. You get sluggish. Yeah, exactly. My back hurts. I don't think I don't think we'll make that June. You're fighting for be fighting in June, right? In June? 12. Maybe, I don't know. 12. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to make it. Might might this dog, man. Another That's couple great. grand for this dog they got. Yeah, yeah, poor Paul was walking the dogs last week and uh Rosemary got attacked. Yeah. She's okay. She's gonna be okay, but it was yeah, tough. She, yeah, we went back today for this, another two grand for you to sing. That's almost four thousand dollars already for this dog. Guys, crazy wow. dog. What like, kind man, of I'm dog gonna, attacked her? Huh? What kind of dog attack? Pitbull, pitbull. Oh, no, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. And she, Rosemary's little. She got a little big old bite hole now. She said, because we couldn't sew it up. So, you know, we got to go back. We might go back tonight or tomorrow. I don't know when. Maybe next day, too. I don't know. Yeah. Yo, the dog was off leash. It was off leash. Yeah, I was off the, their dog was off the leash. Yeah. Ah, that's not good, man. Ah, that's no good at all. You should find them, make them pay the bills. Yeah. Where's where's up? Where's up? My bar, my boy Darnell Boone. Darnell, I I texted him before. He said he's on his way home. <laughs> That's what well, I get. Gym. He has his gym now. He has his gym now. You he's know opened a gym and he and he made a rap. He made a rap. You see the rap thing he did? He put it on YouTube. He made a rap single. Um, I shared it. Nobody watched it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him nobody watch watched it. it. I even tagged Paul Banky. He didn't even watch it. But so Darnell's supposed to join us. But we'll get him on whenever. He he's busy now with the gym. Hopefully. But what we'll do, like, so def most definitely, um, no, on June twentieth, I'm gonna be at at Church Street with Mark. We'll invite yes, Joey. Yes, yes. And then we will go to eat afterwards, and it'll be for me and Mark's birthday, cause his June tenth, and mine is June twenty sixth. Oh, Paul Bank is nice. too far away to come, so he can't come. <laughs> yeah, but if you look close, he will come with us. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come to. He doesn't. Me. He can't. <laughs> but also, oh, Paul Banky is having a big barbecue July seventeenth, um, in California. I'm gonna try to go. Yo, and in September maybe we're in California, right? Oh no, he's definitely gonna be there in California, one hundred percent. It'll be at. Uh, looks like I talked to the people from Morongo Casino, and they, we we could pretty much we we could do what we have to do there. So the idea would be to obviously to get Walid, yeah. um, Salim. And I, I, I wanted Darnell to come out. I want to get him to fight. I want I would like to see Darnell maybe fight Amamu Mayfield. He's a, a former cruiserweight champ from New Jersey. He's still um, fighting. Darnell fought everybody. Huh? Darnell Mark, you, Mark you know you know anything about Darnell? Mark. No, I don't Darnell, know. Darnell, Darnell, Darnell Boo. Dar Darnell Boo's record is crazy ass record. I mean, I worked with him like for six months. We fought me one time in Mexico. You know, but he, I mean, got down. Matter of fact, when he came to Rialto, he pretty lost his weight. Remember, he lost some weight. Uh, he worked, he we had in the gym. I guess he was like in a training camp, he had no choice to work out every day. He was in the gym sometimes. But um, <laughs> what happened was his record is like a crazy a lot of wins, a lot of losses. Um, he's 24, lot, 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 it's, half, it's almost half and half, you know. But yeah. he, he jumped in the ring all the time. He fought Andre Ward, he dropped Andre Ward on his yeah. butt, he got up really? with his distance. He fought uh, Sergio, uh, Sergio Kovalev twice, and he wow. split the decision the first time he lost. And yeah. he fought, who's the other guy he fought and beat? And he uh, knocked out a Donald Stevenson in the second round. Don, a world champion, Donald Stevenson. Come on, only lost that Stevenson ever had. Right? You know, he lost one later no. when he got really hurt. The rematch. But the rematch. point he had the one. No, but he knocked Stevenson out in the second round bad. 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 The thing was, he would always take fights. He would just take any fight. He's one of those guys. He's not afraid of anybody. No, yeah, Lee was, Lee was, Lee, what happened was, he'd be like, he'd be, I guess he was working, he had a family, and say, hey, you want to fight? Goes, yeah, what is it? Three days from now, let's do it. Let's he jumped go. in, did it. You know what I'm saying? He did fights like that. 
the hell is Darnell doing? I said nine o'clock. He said I'm on the way home. See, maybe guy has no promoter, nobody. So they no, he had no protection whatsoever. I mean, he always yeah. came in as a B side. But I'll tell you right now, a guy that's knocking out Adonis Stevens and losing split decisions to Kovalev and knocking Andre Ward on his ass, that guy should. If he's protected, he'd be going to the Hall of Fame right now. But it's tough. People don't understand if you don't have the, the protection of a big promoter. It's almost impossible. It's, it's hey, impossible. Mr. Hi, what's up, my brother Mick? I know Mick's in there. Hey, Mick, how you doing? Yeah, Mick is in there, too. He hasn't come on camera in a while. I think he's mad at you, Paul Banky, for something, probably. So he doesn't come on camera anymore. In fact, he told me <laughs> that Paul hey, Banky. Hey, Mark, did you me ask you you get this? you get your shot? The coronavirus? No, no, not yet. Not yet. No. About about when are you going to get it? When are you going to get them? I don't know, about a week. Oh, you're going to get it soon then. Okay, okay. Dude, but you want to get it, right? You want to get it, right? Which one? Which one? Yeah, yeah. I don't Mark, know which Mark, one to get mother, Mark, Mark's mother's 90 years old. He has to get it. I mean, he, you know, yeah. protect her, yeah. if anything else. She's 90. Exactly. Exactly. And Salim, you guys just shot Salim? No. You don't want it? I won't, no. You don't want you it? You don't want it? I wait, I wait a little bit. I want to see more people doing it. You know? <laughs> see what happens to me first? <laughs> no, no, John. You should be careful. I think like all those guys, they did it. Like BMX, uh, Marvin Hagler, they did the shot, right? Marvin Hagler did, Hank Aaron, um, a bunch of guys. I, but I know 300 people. I, I have a list. I saw a list of like a, like almost 100 people who get the shot and they passed away a few few months after you have to yeah, wait tough. you have to wait you have tough. to see what the no uh, you have to wait me i want to see first oh, what the hell? Yo, Yo, you guys listen, keep talking i'm gonna call darnell listen, listen you cannot get a vaccine with no back test you know keep talking yeah, guys see what happened to darnell yeah. Paul, ask more questions yeah. Yo, darnell hop on <laughs> All, right. All right, so Darnell said he, he sounded like he already went to sleep. He took a, Paul Banky taught him to take naps, real quick naps, and you could be like revived. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Slim, where are you at right now? Slim, where are you at, Slim? He's in his house. I'm in my house. Look, look, look. I'm gonna show you. Hey, bro. Hey, Slim. I'm being, I'm being nosy, Slim. I'm being nosy, bro. I saw the house the other day. You put it on your Facebook story. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Not your house, but the house you did, the work you did your house. The, the houses were nice houses, right? It's a dog. Oh, my dog. Yeah, yeah. Dream. The houses yeah. you did the other day. At the house, the, the, the yeah. 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 houses. Yo, Mark. It was beautiful. Place. It's Darnell. All right, Darnell. So we were talking about you. So you knocked out a Donald Stevenson. You lost a split the stick with a jet lag. You lost a on his ass. And you just opened the gym. You had a you had a rap single out. What do you got going on right now? You're busy. Oh man, just chilling, man. Uh, working out at the gym, man. Training the kids and training these adults. Uh, I got I'm working on a new mixtape. Um, that's what I got going on, man. A lot. Now, hey, Dar hey Darnell, how's that gym going? How's that? How was summer, bro? How's that gym going? Uh, it's going pretty good, man. It's, it's actually doing better than what I thought it was going to do. Right on, right on, right on. Dad, then, okay. You're going to get in shape for September. It looks like I'm going to do a show in California in September. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so you got to start getting ready. I, I can do it around you, but keep me updated how much time you need. You think you can be ready by September? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's too much time. <laughs> what is your weight right now? Right now, I'm like 200. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, Darnell, Darnell, wait, let me ask you real quick. I'm being nosy, bro. I'm being nosy. So, the gym is doing much better than you thought it was going to, huh? Yeah. You know that's good. That's good. That's good. You got a lot of people, you got a lot of people there? A lot of fighters? Yeah, man. Well, well mainly a lot of kids. You say the adults are starting to come now, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like between the ages of five and uh 14, they get the kids coming in. Hey, okay, you, know, time. Man, you, had, you, had, you had it here for about three months now, whatever. How long you had it? No, nah, like a month. Yeah, I've, been, I've been open about a month. All right, I thought, I thought longer than that. Hey, hey, John, hey, hey, John. Is it Rayman Senior live right by you? You're from the same area, right? Yeah, we, we well he I don't I don't think he lives here, but uh I know him personally. 
Oh, you should get them to come to the gym. I don't really deal with them cats like that, man. They 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 got their own little world going on. I got mine. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah, All, right. All right, good. And you don't need that many to be doing better than you thought. You're good to go. So, uh -huh. We lost Mark. He got sick of hearing Paul Banky talk. I think that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's good time because with, with the coronavirus <laughs> and that's good. Let me call him. 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 Mark. All right, John. I'm going to get out of here, bro. I'm going to get out. Darnell, next time come early. We had to wait for you. We had to stall to wait for you. Let me oh, no you. doubt. Yeah, man. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be doing so much, man. Nah, thank you. You come back wherever you want. We'll talk, but September. We got to get it safe for September. Okay, that works. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, Thank you for coming on. We'll have you on whenever you want. And don't forget California. 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 Okay. All right, so Mark is done. And then Darnell, we'll bring you back. You had anything you want to talk about real quick that you got going on? You got a lot of things going on. Where can they see your uh, the, the rap you put together on YouTube? What's the website for your gym? Whatever you want to share. Yeah. Well, I don't got to. Well, I got to get the website put together. Um, but the uh, my video is up under uh, Diesel. Okay, so it's you know D E Z Z E L. Uh, yeah, D E E Z O L. Okay, and then we'll look you up know? that, and then we'll get that up there. I'll put like a a thing to put it there. That's it for Paul Banky too, I guess. But um, so okay. seriously though, try to be in shape for September. I'll talk yeah. to a mom who may you know a mom who Mayfield. I'm not off man. So he was the IBF cruiserweight champ in like the 90s. He still wants to fight. He's like 48 years old. And he always huh? bothered me about fighting. Maybe we'll match you two up. It's a good fight. I mean, and we'll put in California, probably like the co main or something like that. It should be a it should be a good event. And then I'll I'll see who we end up working with, but we should have TV. Okay. Let me know, let me know. You got it. And I, but just let me, seriously, though, let me know about your weight or how much time you need. Okay? Okay, sweet. All right. So thank you, Darnell. Thank you, Celine. Yeah. Thank, thank you, John. Nice and then you also you. September. Thank you. And I'll talk to both of you soon. If you need anything, let me know. Okay? Okay. Thank All you, right. John. All right. Thank you, guys. You oh, hey, John. Yeah. I'll be hitting you uh, for all the sizes, too, of the, uh, the boots. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what you need, and we'll ship it out, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you. So uh, Darnell opened his gym, and he and he sells my shoes out of there. So he tells me the sizes. We get them, so it helps both of us. We get to sell shoes. He gets his kid in good boots, and you know everything. Everyone's happy. Yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. I, that's I, nice. Thank you, Salim. June twentieth. June twentieth. Um, oh, I'm coming over there. Okay. I got a new oh, strategy. Yeah, yeah, and then we go eat afterwards with Mark and Joey, and then we yeah, bring nice, maybe Wally. Nice. If I leave, but uh, you, you come June to June twenty, you said. But, June twenty, but we don't fight in June, right? June twelfth, you'll be already done. So I will be in a good shape, man. Be careful. Yeah, you'll be. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> trust me, I'm not, I'm not worried because I know two uh, things you do that I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look for two things that I you do. I change. I change. <laughs> with me, I was at the beginning. I change. I have better defense. No, I, I'm not gonna show it. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna look I, for, I, and I'm, I'm just gonna I'm load up. Side. I'm on the we'll side, see. not too square. We'll it doesn't see. matter because I know I'm going to watch more. I'm going to see you spar twice between now and then. I'll see if you still do it. If you do, there's Ask two Victor. things I'm going to look for. I'm going to look for it. Don't worry. Yo, Victor has video of uh, sparring me and Walid and we and the other guys. So. I'm going to have him send it so I can study it. And I'll see if you still do it. There's <laughs> okay. two things you throw I'm going to I'm gonna counter with. You'll see. Okay. Okay. All right, Celine. So we'll see you. And then June 20th, mark it down. Beautiful. I mark it. All right. Thank you, Celine. Good night. You're Have welcome. a good night. Thank you. Okay. And that's our show, everybody. Thanks for listening or watching wherever you're checking it out. Uh, this show is brought to you by our sponsor, Manscaped. Uh, go check them out. They are saving our balls and they can save yours too. Or somebody you care about. Uh, it's a pretty awesome device, so go check out what they got. The Lawnmower 3.0, the Weed Whacker, and more. Uh, it's a great gift for Father's Day, birthdays, weddings, anything. Uh, so, yeah, head over there and use promo code SNOBS, S-N-O-B-S, and you'll get 20% off and free shipping. 
Also, we'd like to thank our super fan patrons. Uh, they are all scene snob family to us. Uh, they support us every month, and you can be one too. So head over to the Patreon channel, uh, the Scene Snobs, and uh, you can it's five dollars a month, and you can join in with helping support us and get the free perks too. Uh, also, you can follow us on social media. We are on everything at the Scene Snobs. So Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Uh, we are on Facebook, the Scene Snobs. Uh, everywhere we have fun stuff always going on always have contests and stuff so go follow us check us out you can go to our link tree by going to the scene there's our link tree there's our patron uh, there is our all of our shows and the links for all of that so thanks again for checking it out just head over to the scene where everything is and we will talk to you soon <laughs>